Welcome back to Starting Point Still with me, Aisha Fabian, and also Audrey Utoyo. Audrey, do you realize that we are um, at the end of July, which is mm. the seventh month mm -hmm. in a year? Yep. Talking about seven, seven is my lucky number. Is it your lucky number? Yes. Wow. And there are so many things that mm, begins with like the number seven, like mm -hmm. seven wonders of the world, mm -hmm. right? That's true. There's so many sevens of everything, Aisha. Mm -hmm. And today in particular, we're going to be talking about seven important things that you need to know because, you know, it's July now. How have you, you know, have you been to the gym since January? Yeah, how, how is that? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, people have all these New Year resolutions, but somehow it only lasts for two weeks. And so... <laughs> You right. have to do that. You have to I mean, at least like go to the gym um, like three, four days a week. Yeah, yeah. Ideally, ideal. I don't know. Ideally, maybe like six days and then one rest day. Yeah, but but I'm not the expert. We will ask the, mm -hmm. the expert about that because now here in our studio we have our two special guests that will talk about health. Yes, today we are so honored and just so glad to have industry legends with us mm -hmm. today, especially household names in Indonesia. We have Om Aderai. Hello, welcome to the <laughs> studio. Yeah. Hello. And we have Audrey. Riki Shamsuri. Hello, Thank Riki. Thank you, yeah, thank you, thank you so us. much yeah. for coming. Mm -hmm. Good thank morning you. and welcome to TVRI World. Yeah. Thank you okay. for having us. <laughs> Before we start all the dialogues, we will we really want to know the seven strategies for fat loss. But um, I would want to ask you to what did you have for breakfast? Is it something healthy? What do you do in the morning to keep the healthy lifestyle? Yeah. 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 For my case right now, mm -hmm. uh, the best breakfast is no breakfast. Yeah, because I want to use this momentum as a fat burning zona, so I can use it. So, especially in the morning when you wake up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the body requires uh, energy, right? Mm -hmm. So they're asking you for an energy, right? But because you have this strategy that you want to lose fat, you want to use, because fat is a, is, a, is a store food in your body. Mm -hmm. So if you don't eat, you just go straight to your activity. So use your fat as a source of energy, as an alternative, rather than if you have to eat it. Yeah, but uh, most of the people, sometimes they, they just want to eat breakfast right yep. but it's fine also but I think it's kind of nice if focusing when you are uh, consume breakfast is kind of nice if you are start with the fiber with the protein with fats rather than start with the carbohydrate or sugary Sugar. foods yeah mm. Mm. I gotta stop eating cake for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or, or cereal, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really something. Um, and do you agree? Uh, yeah, for me it's that? the same thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I always do that. Like uh, considering like intermittent fasting, but it depends on uh, like uh, when's my last meal of the day like, from last night. So basically, usually I just like drink coffee. If I have to eat, probably yeah, the the preference is probably protein, like egg white, something like that, mm. protein and fiber. So like avoiding a lot of carbs and sugars so you know yeah okay. so we're gonna use all the fat for our energy in the morning so okay pretty so much like that no so. breakfast skip to workout morning workout yes yes it's, it's called a fasted workout yeah oh okay yeah. Fasted yeah. workout yeah. oh great yeah. Yeah. yeah that is one of the seven strategies yes okay, <laughs> okay. wow okay, okay. We're, we're already okay. we're already we're, in, we're in, getting in, that. <laughs> in full swing in yes. that um, before we go deeper into yep. that can you tell us a little bit more? Of course, people in Indonesia um, already know both of your names and especially how you're both so accomplished um, in the health and bodybuilding world. Uh, can you just give a brief uh, background of both of your uh, stories um, in that world, uh, starting from Ricky? Okay, uh, probably everybody knows Adi Ray. So I met <laughs> him like in 1997, something like that. Yeah, I'm, I was like a gym freak, only, only like to go to the gym, but Ade is the one who like encouraged me to do like like the competition or something like that. But before I didn't know about the diet, I just like uh, I just love working out, you know, mm -hmm. just like the lifestyle. So basically, I was like went to the college last time. So right now it becomes a healthy lifestyle for me, like because I I see a lot of benefit and you know for doing the weight training and then like mm -hmm. um, controlling what I eat and it will transform to my body. So from that point. Uh, yeah, just starting competing, it's been like 
almost 20, 26, 27 years. Wow. Yeah, from wow. that. But yeah, so yeah. yeah, we do it like they call it a professional, but for me, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. It's not just like we, we hit mm. it just for a competition wise, mm -hmm. you know, to get the trophy or everything. Because every day is a competition for me. That's, that's why I'm, I keep doing it right now. So, you know, try to motivate people to get a healthy lifestyle, something like that. So, yeah. Ricky that's, that's is a professional, natural bodybuilder. He won mm -hmm. uh, world champion in 20, uh, 2004. 2004, yeah. 2004. Oh. Yeah. Miami, yeah. Florida. Yeah. Miami? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That okay. was like a yeah. long time ago. I was yeah. like following. Mm -hmm. His step. <laughs> <laughs> I won uh, world champion uh, ten years before him. Wow! Yeah, oh wow! You were not even born yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, went, um, <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. still a concept. Yeah. concept. <laughs> yeah. I started training since 1984, mm -hmm. and then I start uh, competing uh, late. Uh, I think late, late. 80s, early 90s. Early <laughs> yeah. 90s. Yeah, I retired 24 years ago. Mm. Year 2000, I retired. Oh. I won Asia Championship, National Championship in Indonesia, also World Championships also. Yeah. Wow. Since then, I just focusing more on like promoting healthy living in Indonesia through bodybuilding. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. yeah. For us, bodybuilding save our lives because. Yes. We are promoting drug-free bodybuilding, and bodybuilding is supposedly uh, uh, go hand in hand with vitality and health. Yeah. Mm. Uh, wise man said that uh, bodybuilding is important for nation building. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bodybuilding is important for nation building. That is yeah. that is good. But yeah, um, yeah mm -hmm. I also saw and stalked your well, both of your Instagram, and then there's the um, the tagline as you mentioned too, drug-free bodybuilding. Uh, yeah. Can you? Explain more to us yeah. what's what's the meaning of drugs-free bodybuilding. No, the thing right now is uh, bodybuilders give bodybuilding a bad name. <laughs> ninety percent, oh, no. oh, ninety yeah. percent bodybuilders are on drugs, are 90%. on steroids. They're on uh, performance enhancement and everything. And then they thought it's uh, it's, it's, it's like a is is kalau lumrah apa ya? They thought it's like a normal, like yeah. a normal for yeah. them. Mm -hmm. But for us, it's like it, it's not supposed to be that way. Uh, Bodybuilding is uh, masculinity is supposedly go hand in hand with vitality and health. So mm. that's why I think it's it's uh, that's why we need to tell them that it's like mm -hmm. a, it's a drug free bodybuilding. It's a natural bodybuilding. Is mm -hmm. is 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 the only way. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying also that bodybuilding is a lifestyle. It's yes. more than just a performance, yeah. right? Maybe. Yeah. 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 yeah uh, some people do that because they think yeah. it's one of the challenging part in uh, sports of bodybuilding because uh, not like any other sports, they have drug tests. Bodybuilding, they don't have drug tests. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they don't. Yeah, they don't. They don't have drug tests. Oh. That's why me and Ricky, we won our Asia Championship, National Championship, World Championship in other. In a drug test uh, organization, yeah, yeah, federation, yeah. which they they do that, yeah, yeah. Mm. to to make, make a sure fair point. that yeah, yeah. 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 everything yeah. is fair. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, urine so. test, polygraph test, blood test, yeah. Mm. Wow. Oh wow. That's, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's it's also really interesting to you mm -hmm. know, learn more about this mm -hmm. because yeah, yeah. Uh, right now in the age of social media, we see so much uh, people, yeah, yeah. you know, just showing yeah. like. They you know they work out, they can um, do all yeah. these exercises, but you never mm -hmm. really know behind the scenes, right? right. So, a long time mm -hmm. ago is uh, under information, but nowadays like over over information, <laughs> <laughs> over, which yeah, is uh, <laughs> make people confused about yeah. things. Yeah. Usually, yeah. this basic thing they make like complicated, yeah. so you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but but this is just a joke, yeah. But but what they said is just like the the confused. Uh, they are the stronger the industry. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make everybody a bit uh, confused yes. all the time. Yeah, yeah. But, but one of the good things, yeah. our motto is uh, we, we, we try to keep it simple. Yeah. Ah, yeah. okay. So the like strategies are pretty simple, if you yes. may say. Yes. And yes. one of it um, is by living the healthy yeah. lifestyle. Everybody so. can have a flat tummy. <laughs> really? Everybody? Yes. Oh, okay, yes. I would want that. I mean, <laughs> that. Wow, I mean, that brings me so much hope uh, oh. and happiness, you know. Yeah. Every, yeah. Everybody who's watching, yes. you can have a flat yeah. stomach. Yeah. Wow. The seven strategy is not necessary that you have to do all seven. Mm -hmm. You can only do five, you can only do three. Even you can only do one strategy, but still you can have progress even in yes. a week. 
Ooh. Yeah. If yeah. you do it like properly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. We, we give like seven options to do that. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. yeah. It's not like the seven options rather yeah. than like you need to do Dude. all of yes. the sevens. Yeah. 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 I feel challenged already. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so it's not like a dream yeah. to have a flat tummy. Yeah. It's just like yeah. you guys didn't know yet. So you know, yeah. so yeah. now Everybody we can spill do our secrets yeah. a little yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, okay, let's just dive into these yeah. <laughs> seven strategies because yeah. yeah. we were dying. The challenging to know. part is because uh, nowadays, yeah, a long time ago, I mean, people get sick because of de deficiency, because mm. of lacking of food. But today, it's more on a, because of the toxicity, because they eat too much, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the uptake is more than the usage, mm -hmm. but it has to be the other way around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like they're eating too much, but um, they don't they, move. They, oh, yeah, yes. they don't do many things. They right. just sit yeah. on the couch yeah. Yeah. or they, something. They move less. Yeah, okay. that's right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's dive into yeah. the yes. seven. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay, number yeah. one is fasting. Number two is the control carbohydrate. Number three is priority protein. Number four is uh, selective when it comes to fat. Number five is the uh, fasted cardio. Number six is priority resistant training. And number mm -hmm. seven is uh, pay attention on our breathing. Yeah. Control uh -huh. our, bre control. our breath. Yeah. Breath control. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Huh. So number one is fasting, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Especially. So the reason why fasting is, is our proposal to everybody is because majority uh, kaum muslim dan muslimah or muslim in mm -hmm. Indonesia, they already get uh, exposed by uh, ibadah puasa, fasting, mm -hmm. uh, during the Ramadan, yeah, yeah. during uh, uh, month of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the proposal of the fasting is because when we try to investigate what we are doing right now. So if I'm asking Audrey, for example, like, Audrey, uh, when is the time usually you don't eat? Mm. Only when you are sleeping, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, let's say one day, 24 hours, uh, when you are sleeping, let's say six to eight hours, mm -hmm. that's the only time when we don't eat. That's why the, they said it's like the, the not eating window mm -hmm. is only during that time, which is only six to eight hours. Mm. But the rest, the 18 hours is our eating window because when we wake up, sometimes we eat, we eat, and then we eat a little bit breakfast and then brunch and then lunch and then uh, tea time and Snacks then and dinner yeah. and then supper <laughs> you know like so some people sometimes they eat like maybe maybe seven some of them are nine some of them are 12 times yeah yeah but they always said that they only uh, eat three times <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but when you look at the cctv then you know that yeah. <laughs> so most of the people yeah. are they that's how the, all the calories yeah so that's why them. when it comes to the fasting it's like we try to create that the not eating window the fasting window is supposedly is more than the eating window yeah that's mm. why we introduce for example like uh, the intermittent fasting intermittent fasting means like uh, you don't eat for uh, 13 to 15 hours. They call it mm. intermittent fasting. Yes. If we don't eat for 18 hours, they call it autophagy fasting. Mm. When we don't eat for 24 hours, we call it gut bacteria reset fasting. When we don't eat for 36 hours, we call it fat burning or fat burner fasting. When we don't eat for uh, 48 hours, they call it happiness fasting or re dopamine reset fasting. And, uh, <laughs> really? yeah, yeah. and you can do that, like yeah. not eating for 48 yes, hours. Yes, when yes. <laughs> it's, it's all water fasting. Water fasting, fast, fasting means you don't eat, uh, uh, yeah. you don't Meal. eat calories, uh -huh. but you can still drink. drink. Yeah, you can still drink water. You can still drink tea. You can still drink uh, uh, coffee, you can still drink uh, apple cider vinegar, yes. Can yeah, you but drink protein? No, I cannot. Shake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it contains a calorie. So. Yeah, because, uh, because the reason yeah. of the fasting is like uh, uh, our body will use fat as a yeah. source of energy when there is no, uh, uh, when there is no insulin around. Mm. Yeah, so when there is no insulin, so uh, body will use fat as a source of energy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Wow. That's the yeah. strategy. Yeah, so that's why the, the, the duration of the fasting is variety. It's yeah. not necessary that you have to do extended or prolonged fasting. It's not mm -hmm. necessary like that. But you can start with the simple way. For example, number one is just like, uh, let's say, for example, Mbak Aisha, uh, your last meal is like 8 or 9 o'clock mm -hmm. at night. So that means your next meal uh, in the next day 
the 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 earliest is uh, the uh, I mean what do you call it the the, the earliest the, yeah. yeah the earliest yes. is is the nine o'clock in the morning, so that's why you get twelve hours window of not eating. Not eating. Yeah. Yeah. At least yeah. twelve yeah. hours. At least, yeah. at least twelve eating. hours. Yeah. Let's say when you uh, Audrey eating late until ten or maybe eleven o'clock. Mm -hmm. So that means the next day, uh, if you want to start to eat, you have to start from the uh, eleven or the twelve. Oh. Lunch. Longer, lunch better. Time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. So, it's, so it's a 12, uh, 12, 12, 12 means. Yeah. It's like 50-50%. Uh, yeah, they call it like 12-12 right? or 14-10, yeah. yeah. the yeah. window opportunity yeah. to eat mm -hmm. yeah. after mm -hmm. that. So but you if have you want to wanna add more, uh, more duration for not eating window or fasting window, you just skip breakfast, you go straight to lunch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I tried that yeah. too. Yeah. But yeah. sometimes at night, I feel very hungry. <laughs> yeah. It's just uh, uh, yeah. we yeah. adjust the um, the not eating window to mm -hmm. extend that. Period. Yeah. What What do you feel when when you are doing fasting? What mm -hmm. do you feel? It's all 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 uh, uh, all solid, all fine, all okay. You know, yeah, yeah. because uh, the things with the uh, our uh, architect of uh, immunity in our mm -hmm. body is like the the. The, the 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 number one apa yang namanya the the palang pintu is the first okay. the first rule is like the our nervous system mm -hmm. so when you associate uh, fasting as a pain or a, you, if you associate fasting as a pleasure both you are right mm -hmm. so that's why be careful what you are associate with that because uh, when it comes to the theoretically mm -hmm. when we do fasting especially uh, 12 hours or one day or two days or maximum three days like yeah. like until 72 hours all we can get is all the benefits yeah. you know uh, we let our body to do their own intelligence mm -hmm. that's why they call it is autophagy autophagy means uh, mean self eating yeah. like if we don't eat if we don't give our body uh, some food, food yeah. then our body has their own intelligence to to create their own system, it's mm -hmm. like they can create the the, the counter regulatory uh, hormone. They can create the 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 defense defensive yep. mechanism mm -hmm. by using all the tools that we have in our body, which is our body doesn't need all the uh, all the, the uh, like cells, cell yang rusak. Yeah, cells. Yeah. the damaged yeah. cells, yeah. the damaged yeah. cells, uh, old cells, yeah. the cells that yeah. Like ge Factory. regenerate yeah. Yeah. for uh, yeah. the good one. So regenerate yeah. For yeah, our body is pretty smart to to survive. Like in order yeah. to survive, yeah. right? Yeah, Dr. Osumi like Yoshinori yeah. and Dr. Christian De Duf is uh, both has a Nobel Prize mm. because of this the, the research about the autophagy. Yeah, mm. yeah. So you you guys can Google. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's number one is fasting. Number that's two fasting. is uh, when it comes to the eating window. Uh, second one is a uh, is a uh, is a carbohydrate. When it comes to carbohydrate, usually people ten, uh, has the tendency to eat more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When it comes to carbohydrate, yeah, usually they uh, tend to eat more. That's why the the precise words for the carbohydrate is control. So we need to control the carbohydrate. It's not necessary that it has to be zero carbohydrate. No, mm -hmm. but what I'm uh, uh, what we are trying to say to suggest is like control carbohydrate. That's number two. Mm -hmm. That's number three is like priority protein. Why we call it priority protein? Because majority, uh, all of us, when it comes to protein, mm -hmm. we always eat less. That's why we need to prioritize protein. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Because usually what we eat is collaboration of uh, 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 carbo and fats. Yeah. Nasi, roti, <laughs> yeah. 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 fried things, yeah. you know, goreng yeah. goreng. Yeah. 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 The, the things the Indonesians <laughs> like to eat. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. like, yeah. like what something like is common thing. They they eat breakfast like oh I don't have anything to eat so I just grab the goreng goreng yeah. thing and they eat this. Uh, Can you imagine yeah. how many calories is that? You know, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. like by the time you wake up, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so the, the, when when it comes to the goreng gorengan, so that's the number 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 four. It's 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 call it like a, when it comes to the fat, we need to be selective. Mm. So it's not necessary that fat is bad, or some people have yeah. that phobia when it comes to fat. It's not necessary like that because fat is good for us. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need to be selective. Either we 
consume uh, good fat or bad fats. Yes. Mm -hmm. But but to make it short, what is the bad fat? Bad fat is simple. Sometimes we get it from the uh, the fried food, the, fried the, food, the minyak goreng, minyak, minyak, okay. yeah. bready yeah. fry oils, oils. Yes. oils. Yeah. and fried. then the the margarine. Yeah, yeah. Margarine. But the good fat is you can get it from butter. You can get it from coconut oil. Avocado, um, avocado, fruits. olives, yeah, yeah, all the natural. yeah, yeah, natural. yeah, all the natural, and then majority fats comes from protein. So when we eat fish, when we eat chicken, when we eat beef, we eat majority is already contain fats naturally. So it's it's kind of nice. It's good fats, mm -hmm. yeah. and then number five is like uh, uh, fasted cardio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when it comes to the definition of cardio exercise. It's like uh, you can do it in outdoor, for example, like walking, running, mm -hmm. swimming, or uh, rock, uh, anything, anything, you know, uh, outside, outdoor, right? Yeah. And then you can do it indoor by um, integrate with the uh, with, uh, supporting tools like yeah. uh, treadmills, cross yeah. trainers, stair climbers, everything, right? Mm -hmm. And then also group exercise like uh, like they used to have in Friday morning in TVRE. In the front, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have like a yeah. aerobic yeah. exercises. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if they do it empty stomach, then it's even, then it, it's it even nicer. Yeah. Yeah. It's inside yeah. the seven strategies. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a passive cardio. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. doing things, you know, mm -hmm. without yeah. eating first. Yeah. They so can one drink. Other, yeah. One other proposal is uh, fasted cardio. Mm -hmm. And okay. then the number six, six. six. Yeah. number six is priority weight training. Yeah. Weight, weight training, weight training. So, okay. yeah because weight yeah. training is the most under appreciate it's the same <laughs> thing with the protein also yeah. it's the most under appreciate when it comes to 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 the to the to the activities mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, the reason why because uh, we need to build muscle to burn fats mm -hmm. yep. you know because mm -hmm. muscle is the is the muscle is the organ of longevity muscle can uh, the if we flex our muscle more, we can strengthen our bones. Mm -hmm. We stimulate uh, the bone density. Yeah. Uh, but one of the most important thing when it comes to muscle, muscle is the largest side of glucose disposal. And then majority of us is always eating carbo all the time. Yes. Sugar, yeah, sugar, yeah. So yeah. before carbo become fats, they need to ask permission to muscle, to <laughs> can I stay there? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Before they, wow. before you eat your, because when you look at the rice, when you look at the sugars, you look at them. It's like there is no fats in yeah. it, right? But how come you are afraid to consume that? Mm -hmm. Which is there is no fat because the reason is because if you eat too much of carbohydrate, they will start as fat. Mm -hmm. They call it. That's why there's uh, there's a process called uh, lipogenesis. Mm -hmm. Is a new fats comes from the uh, carbs. carbs. But the mm. thing is, before carbo become fats, there's there's a molecule called glycogen. It's where the the mm. the sugar supposed to stay there. So when you are eating, uh, for example, when you are eating rice, for yeah. example, or you eating bread, when you eat, your body turns into sugar, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. And then that means your blood sugar is going to be high. So when the blood sugar high, it's not good for the body. Mm. They call it hyperglycemia. So that's why our body has their own intelligence. Your pancreas release the hormone called insulin. Mm. So insulin mm. try to bring the those extra sugars yeah. uh, to to uh, to to make it yeah. uh, to the baseline again. Mm. Uh, sugar Normal. has to, to balance be yeah. to balance yeah. because your sugar is too high. Mm -hmm. Eighty to hundred milligram per deciliter uh, uh, blood is is the the the, the requirement so that's yeah. why when you eat too much they need to put it down mm -hmm. when sure. they put it down the extra sugar they have they need to put it in a liver glycogen or in a muscle glycogen but mm -hmm. the problem is with the liver is uh, very limited when it comes to the muscle you don't train your muscle so the muscle is very small. <laughs> <laughs> you don't train that much. Yeah. So that's yeah. why all the extra sugar goes straight to the fats. Ah. Yeah. So that's why before they go straight to the fat, they need to go to the muscle. So that's why when you train your muscle, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's kind of nice for you to have more. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Space, why yeah. the more mm -hmm. muscle you have, the more calorie you burn. Yeah. You burn. Mm -hmm. The more muscle you have, that means you have uh, uh, Jatah makan, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
ability to <laughs> yeah. eat more. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. allow you to, to, to eat more. To eat you more, have yeah. that higher tolerance when it comes to carbohydrate when you have more muscle. Yeah. Yes. Even you at rest, you, the more muscle you have, you will uh -huh. burn the calorie even at resting. They said at like rest. that. So, yeah. Huh. So. Yeah, and you know okay. that that's really mm -hmm. uh, interesting topic that I would like to uh, dive into because you know weight training, um, it's like you said, it's, it's underrated. People don't do it so much. Mm -hmm. um, what are some basic exercises that we as people should know? Like Ricky, what are some of the things you do um, in order to you know not only build but maintain uh, yeah, the yeah. muscle mm -hmm. and in, be in that fat burning zone always? Right, right, right. Yeah, actually, besides going to the gym usually at home you can do it like using your body weight you do like squatting you know and using all the equipment you have at the house as as long as it uh, um, it use your muscle to contract mm -hmm. something like that so th that's a very basic movement that you can do like you can do push up something like that but for me i always do weight training my first priority weight cardio training. of course you, you should do it also for your you know, for your heart, you know, for your lung, something like that. To maintain it, like I go to the gym like every four to five times a week, something like that, and watch every th everything what I eat. I control it. Basically, I control it. Like Adi said, it's supposed to be balanced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the more muscle you have, you know, you have like, uh, you, you can eat more without mm -hmm. feeling guilty, something like that. So, yeah, so mm -hmm. you have to do it like it's not just for the, uh, like you have to prioritize it you know it's not just like a destination so it's like mm. a process you know something mm. like that use yeah. our own body is yeah use simple. your own body yeah simple for things. for female for example one of the most popular activities like when you uh Baisha can do plank for example mm -hmm. if you cannot do push-up you can just do plank plank is a static contraction yep. yeah just do plank uh for uh, for indonesian which is uh all the muslims uh, uh uh, we pray like five, five, mm -hmm. five times, times five day. times a day, right? So every solat, after solat, after praying, then you just do one or two sets of push up or one two sets of uh, plank. Plank. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. but if we are doing home workouts, yeah. like mm -hmm. even the simplest um, mm -hmm. exercises like mm -hmm. push up and sit ups, yeah. so, uh, we don't know if we are doing it right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How yeah. if we're doing it wrong and then? Mm -hmm. Let's really? make it simple. If you don't feel uh, hurt or feel oh, pain, okay. yes, then it means there's it's no fine. contraction. <laughs> yeah. Contraction. Yeah. That yeah. means it's yeah. not. It's not the right thing. It's not in the this target. Right. Okay. That, yeah. So. Yeah. Mind and muscle connection. Every yeah. time you do it, you have to watch your forms. Mm -hmm. Make sure you do it like nice and properly, yeah. and feel the muscle working. Yeah. Something like that. So mm -hmm. yeah, just, yeah. You just it's repeat it. It's kind of detail to explain that that, <laughs> yeah. that, that question because <laughs> yeah. every movement needs uh, uh, needs. Uh, detailed explanation oh, yeah. right but, but the, in, yeah. in overall in general i mean like uh, actually you can do anything like for example like uh jongkok apa? just like squatting. Yeah, just, squatting. just doing squatting uh -huh. i mean it's yeah. like it's kind of nice if you can yeah. just do like yeah. that like 10 repetition one set and then rest for one minute and then you do it again yeah. you can do lunges also mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can just do that's why i mean plank is simple because it's you don't have to do anything you just yeah. like hold on to your uh, body weight right yeah, yeah so it's kind of yeah. nice push up is not necessary also has to be on the floor you can do push up on the wall on the also wall. Yeah. it's yeah. simple like yeah. that or you can do lots of things sometimes you just like uh, Kalau apa? Jinjit apa namanya? Oh, like okay. a tiptoeing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah tiptoe. Yeah, 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 you do the the yeah. calf raises. Yeah. 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 As long Maybe as the next session. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, next, next session. Next session. Next session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. More right. about yeah. that. And uh, quickly, what is the last uh, tip for yeah. the the seventh? Yeah, the last the tip is uh, like breathing properly. Means mm. like breathing properly means like you yeah. you rest properly. So the requirement to rest properly when it comes to, for example, when it comes to sleep, yeah, because there's a plenty of, of, of form of resting, right? Mm -hmm. but, but let's say we are talking about sleeping, yeah? Mm -hmm. So number one is regularity. Regularity means like uh, if you have the same time when you are wake up and when you are sleeping, it's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Number one, regularity. Number two is cleanliness. That means kind of nice if you are sleep in an environment where it, which, is, uh, which is clean right. rather than messy. Mm -hmm. Number three is the the maybe the the darkness. Mm -hmm. it, it is nicer to sleep in the darkness rather than in uh, yeah. too much lights. Yeah. 
And then number four is the call um, a temperature, means mm -hmm. like uh, if you nice. sleep, yeah. if it's too hot, sometimes mm -hmm. yeah. it's not nice, but if, you, if it's too cold, it's also not nice, but mm -hmm. needs to be uh, comfy. Comfort. Yeah, yeah. 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 Comfort. yeah. 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 sejuk, sejuk. sejuk. Yeah. 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 But air conditioner is okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's fine because, because air conditioner is just the method. Yeah. What it means is like you don't want to get too hot. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's fine, yeah. yeah. But because uh, I live in Bandung, I don't use air conditioner. <laughs> it's cold it's, naturally. It's natural. Yeah. 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 yeah, and then um, um, stay away from toxicity when it comes from foods and yeah. also from the energetic uh, toxicity because sometimes when we are sleeping with the laptop on mm. with the charger battery handphones yeah. in our heads and everything so it's kind of nice if you just stay away from that mm -hmm. and then also sometimes before go to bed sometimes you eat like too much yeah mm -hmm. especially that's too true. much carbs mm -hmm. this, uh, that's why eat protein is kind of nicer because only protein and fat that release release yeah. uh, satiety hormone yeah. mm -hmm. that's yeah. why when you are um, binging, uh, yep. a meal, yeah. Yeah. binging, snacking, yeah. 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 snacking, snacking binging. Snacking. Yeah. Uh, they have a hypothesa. They call it a protein leverage hypothesa. Means if you are uh, mm -hmm. always likes to eat a lot, is mm -hmm. because the body wants to tell you that you are lacking a protein. That's yeah. why you need to eat protein because only protein can release uh, satiety hormone. Yeah, oh. you can feel uh, full, full when you are eat, eating protein. Yes. So okay. that's why. And then the last part is like uh, breathing properly. Mm. Breathing properly means like you take your uh, deep, uh, uh, your, your breath in mm -hmm. uh, uh, deep mm -hmm. and then breathe out long. Okay. That's okay. you activate the relaxed response. <laughs> with, yeah, we call it parasympathetic nervous system because parasympathetic nervous system activate rest and digest uh, mode in your body. So your digestive system, tumbuh dan kembang. You can grow, yeah. grow the muscle and everything. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, if you are stressed a lot, mm -hmm. too much cortisol in your body, so usually you activate, they call it sympathetic nervous system. It's like uh, the you activate the fight or flight mode, mm -hmm. which can create uh, the cell of your body is, uh, is protect mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. of, uh, that's why uh, one of the most popular um, tendency is like uh, when you are stressed, you get good <laughs> because yeah, of the true. Yeah. because yeah. of the lack that's, of that's digestive that system. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and well, I, I feel like we could have another hour or two, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, be in this conversation because yeah. it's so uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, quickly, just last statement from each of you. Uh, what is the one most important thing that our viewers uh, need to know? Super short, just one last statement, mm -hmm. start, starting from Ricky. What is the most important thing that people should know in order for them to have the best health? Uh, just do everything um, happily, you know, love yourself. And, you know, if you have a, a healthy body, you know, you have a healthy mind. And, mm -hmm. of course, your attitude will be good, your character will be good, and you can share to everybody. Just, just stick to the basic and just eat well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And from Amade? Yeah, uh, I think uh, understanding is the foundation of the disciplines. Mm -hmm. And then education is the ammunition of the, the understanding. Mm. So that's why uh, educate yourself more because once you educate yourself, you get more understanding. Then when you do it, let's say if you have to do diet, if you have to do exercise, mm -hmm. if you have to do fasting, if you have to uh, pay attention to what you're eating or whatever, you can do it gladly instead yeah, you of can, you feel yeah. like you need to yeah. sacrifice like it's, it's what torture. you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You yeah. because be your body is so smart yeah. To, yeah. To, 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 to do that, yeah, yeah. Okay. To, to recognize that. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's never too late to start because yep. the starting yes. point is the hardest one. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to yeah. start yeah. Uh, yep. working out, right. doing healthy yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. Right. So when you are saying the, hard, or when you're saying easy, both you are. Nice. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it becomes your reality, right? Yeah. Uh, both of them. So it's so. like, yeah. Yeah. You always, we always say like, one day I'm gonna have this body goals. Mm -hmm. Instead of one day, why, why don't you just change like day one? Oh, it's starting point, right? That is so true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's so good. Yeah. When is the best time? Right now. Right yeah. now. Finish the yeah. program, go to the gym, exercise, or you know something yeah. like that. Just start. Wow. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's actually not that complicated. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you just have to do it. You just have to do it. Makes us feel really motivated uh, this uh -huh. morning, right, Aisha? Yep. And so, 
Thank you so much again. We are so grateful to have Thank you very two much. incredible lifetime directly bodybuilders, mm -hmm. professionals in the industry, share with us these incredible tips. Thank you, Omani Rai and Omri Chomsori, for pleasure. being on the show. And we look forward to having you here again. Yes, Thank you. Thank for you. the I next really session. It. And uh, keep being healthy. And you too, we really wish you to stay healthy as well. And let's just breathe together to close this starting point today. I am Aisha Fabian. And I'm Audrey Toyo. See you again next week, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Western Indonesia time. And for now, bye.